Good morning everyone, especially to our instructor, Janina Sinswat. I am Arman Esendigan from Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Mathematics, together with Tuari F. Abbas from BS Forestry and me will discuss the Chapter 2 entitled Sociological Perspective, The Self as a Product of Society. So, um, the learning outcomes of this topic is that at the end of this chapter, you should be able to first recognize what, socio what sociology tells about understanding the self and others. Second, um, discuss how individual view the self as a product of socialization. Socialization rather. So, third is explain George Herbert Mead's theory of the social self. Um, fourth is um, describe the self as the product of modern and postmodern societies. And lastly, appreciate your own social experience that have that have been particularly helpful in understanding the self. Before we discuss our topic, let's discuss first what is sociological perspective, what is the importance of sociological perspective in our life, why we need to study soci sociology and society, and lastly, how we become the product in a society. First, the, so the sociological perspective. <clears throat> For me, um, the basic insight of the basic insight of sociology is that human behavior is shaped by the groups to which people belong and by the social interaction that takes place within those groups and also um, the sociological perspective invites us to look at our familiar surroundings in a fresh in a fresh way <clears throat> next is what is the importance of sociological perspective in our life? So, um, thinking through a sociological perspective in our life, it helps us to understand the situation of others and um, allows us to better understand the reason why people um, are in the situations they are in. Thus, if you're going to look back to the uh, to your past, try to um, evaluate your behavior and make a uh, before and after. Hmm. Then um, you will see if there is you will see if there is differences. So as I observe, people is people is easily get in touch to the people that surround her and easily adapt. So now, um, the third, um, why do we need to study sociology and our society? So, one reason of it um, is to, why um, we study sociology is simply because um, sociology is a fascinating and multifaceted disi multi -faceted discipline. So, um, Sociologists and students of sociology can study anything, including um, including other disciplines, because soci sociological issues are prominent in all aspects of life. Also, studying sociology helps students to not only better understand the world around them, but Sociology helps students to better understand their own lives. Um, on the other hand, we need to study the society also because the primary purpose of social studies is to help young people to be informed and reason decisions for the public good as citizens of a culturally diverse democratic society.
in an in uh, in an interdependent world and lastly how we become the product of our society so we become the product of society because we are the social the social creatures with an inherently proud inherently proud self self-serving and self-justifying nature so um this means that we constantly have to prove our superiority above others then um so those are the quick overview of our topic and those words or a phrase that i will discuss will help us to easily understand the topic so now to formally start our discussion let us read and interpret jidu krish krishamurti's krishnamurti's quotation so according to jidu krishnamurti understanding of the self only arises in relationship in watching yourself in relationship to people ideas and things to trees the earth and the world around you and within you and within you relationship is the mirror in which the self is revealed without self knowledge there is no basis for right thoughts and action so um according to jidu krishnamurti or from what i understand about about it is that the relationship is one of the one of the common factor to build ourselves excuse me the connection to other people will help everly everly in individual to come out from their shell in order to show the world who they really are so as a matter of fact he indeed believed that relationship is the mirror in which the self is revealed so now i am going to ask you did you ever ask yourself who you are are you ha- <clears throat> are you happy or you are just smiling because you don't want other people see that you are not that you are not so do you feel comfortable to your circle of friends those are simple question yet um difficult to answer so <clears throat> let let me help you to determine your whole self so if you are if your answer is yes to my question you are the validation do you admit to yourself that all of the things that happen to you is well deserved and if no try to ask yourself and start by this phase who am who am i so let's proceed um now i'm gonna discuss the sociological perspective of the oneself let's us know first what is sociology sociology is the study of social life social change and the social causes and consequences of human behavior means it is a study on how people connect to their surrounding and how does it affect to every individual's mental every individual's mental physical spiritual beliefs and behavior so hence sociological perspective implied the behavior of human which which influenced by society however this lesson will help everybody will help every individual to handle the effects of the society in terms of building themselves so as i stated earlier that relationship is one of the factor that influence and build oneself so through particular views of oneself there are form that my imp- that me influence us which is interaction with other people group or social instruction um, everywhere we go 
we interact even in stranger like for instance if 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 we are going to department store we have at least one or two sentences conversation um conversation to the cashier as well as to the bagger so through this it helps us to practice talking to other people without hesitation and it helps and it help us it help us to build confidence so there are theories from sociologists for mid and coolie the self does not depend on biological predisposition rather it is a product of social interaction so they believe that individual does not grow by inheritance or by genes they believe that the individual will grow by the influence of society people and the treatments that they receive in the environment so as individual um, we can grow by our own what i mean is um we need we need other people in order to make us grow as a person for instance as a student um i can't really learn by my own I need um I need someone to teach or instruct me to evaluate and validate the learning that I gain by my own so that if there is wrong um I can make it right <clears throat> So Mid and Cooley have the same perspective about knowing yourself and that believes is um what do you mean? um you grow by the influence of the society not by heredity so the another sociologist is jean she believed that if you are satisfied to yourself you should not be persuaded by the past by the past modern culture of advert advertisement and mass media which suggests false needs currently um these false needs cause a serious serious problem especially to the teenagers Um, they think that um, everything happens in social media and in the environment was accurate. Was accurate. Um, they don't think critically of what was the product of this kind of doings. Now, um, there are a lot, uh, a lot of teenagers around 10 to 17 years old used the different kind of drugs. They think that um, if they do this, they are cool or what they called you you know um a stig so um these people are not satisfied to their lives that's why um they persuaded to these fake needs fake needs um genes also believe that um we must indeed to be practiced do not obey fake needs and do not persuaded persuaded by wrongdoings because um it will mess your life instead um, be persuaded to those good doings in order to help you um, help you grow and be satisfied to the things that um, you have now because um, somehow those who you those who you prayed um, will be answered furthermore those those sociologists offer theories um, to assess on how the self arouse as a product of social experiences Also, there is a there is a study on how the relationship of individual build a new insights that um, intertwine the relatedness of every individual. So this theory is belong to Cooley and Mead, the looking glass self. Um, it basically it help people to understand on how we view ourselves and um, how we view other people and vice versa. So their theory build um curiosity to my mind and somehow i might ask myself if i am doing good or but i but perhaps all all the questions that i have right now will be um answered so above all i believe that knowing yourself is like a flower um <laughs> you need to water it every day in order to grow beautifully means we need other people to make to make us grow not to take care uh, not take care us but those memory and happenings that 
happenings that buried to our heart can make us grow like a lovely flower. So, um, the next topic is designed to um, to help you get a better idea or uh, get, get a better get a better idea of the looking glass self, which is introduced by the sociologist Charles Horton Cooley Cooley in 1902. But first, let us know who is she. Who, who is he? So Charles Horton Cooley was born born on August 17, 1864, and died on. May 8, 1929. Um, he was an American sociolo sociologist and the son of Michigan Supreme Court Judge Thomas M. Cooley. He also studied, studied and went on to teach economics and sociology at the University of Michigan. Um, he was a founding member of the American Soci Sociological Association in 1905 and became its 8th president in 1918. Um, Charles Horton Cooley is perhaps best known for his concept of the looking glass self, which is the concept that a person that a person's self grows out of society's interpersonal interaction and the perception of others. So then, um, let's back to the topic. So. According to Charles Horton Cooley, um, the people with whom um, a person interact with becoming um, becoming a mirror in which <clears throat> in which he or she views himself or herself, I which he or she he or she views himself or herself. Um, you know um, the mirror here. Is a metaphor that you you'd figure out what you look like physically by looking in a mirror, but when it comes um, when it comes to figuring out yourself and who you are, that comes through your interaction with others, um, like interaction with your parents, siblings, teacher, and your friends are all of those that all of those help that you get an idea of. Um, of what person you are and the people that you interact with um, becoming your mirrors. <clears throat> so you will see what they think of what they think of you uh, when you interact when you interact with them and it changes the way on what you see on what you see to yourself. Mm. Mm. So <clears throat> how can we achieve self-identity or self-image how can we achieve so um we can achieve self-identity or self-image through um what do you call this um the threefold event and it is begun by conceiving um an, an idea of how a person presents himself or herself to others next is um how he or she analyzes how others perceive him or him or him or her and um, finally um, how he or she creates an image of himself or her or herself so since these percep perceptions are subjective um, a person might have wrong interpretation of how other people evaluate him or her him or her um, it would be a uh, critical if he or she thinks that thinks that um, others judge other people um, judge 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 him or her unfavorably because um, he could develop a uh, he could develop a negative self-image so um, let's proceed to another sociologist, which is George George Herbert Mead. But first, who is he? Um, George Herbert Mead was born on February 27, 1863 and 
died on um, <clears throat> died on April 26, 1931. Also, um, George George Herbert Mead was the American philosopher. American philosopher, so American philosopher, <clears throat> sociologist, and psychologist. Um, primarily, primarily affiliated with the University of Chicago, where he was one of the several distinguished pragmatists. Um, he is um, regarded um, as one of the founders of symbolic interactionisms, and he was come to be referred to as the Chica referred to as the Chicago socio socio sociological tradition. Um, also, George Herbert Mead is best known for his work on the nature of the self and intersubject intersubjectivity. He also developed a, theor a theory of action and a metaphysics or philosophy of nature that emphasizes um, emphasizes em emergence and tempora temporality in which the past and future are viewed through the lens of the present so back to the topic George George Herbert Mead um, supports the the view of the view that a person develops a sense of self through social social interaction on how they interact with their environment and not the biological precondition of what do you mean what the ano um, of the biological precondition of that interaction interaction Mead's, theor Mead's theory of the social self explain that the self has two divisions which is the I and the I and the me. Um, what they call this? Um, in Mead's perspective, is that he sees a person as an active process, not just not just a mere reflection um, of not just a mere reflection of our society. He further proposed he pur he further proposed two interactive facets of the selves the I and the me. Now, um, my part of the self, the I part, the I part, um, that have a deductive relationship, rela mm. relationship which is like a system of checks and balances. <laughs> um, on the other hand, the I is the, the I is the subjective element and the active side of the self. It um, it represents the spontaneous and unique traits of any individual. Like um, for example, I describe myself um, as a kind and trustworthy person. That that was my trait. That was my traits to myself, and that is um, who I am. And nobody will change that. So. Um, while while the me on the other hand is the is the objective element of the self that represents represents the what do you call this um represents the internalized attitudes and demands of other people and the individuals um the individuals awareness of those demands so like um for example, um, is that uh, the people around me see me see me as an introvert person. See me um, as as an introvert person. That is what they view me as a person. But I know to myself um, that I am not that kind of person. Mm. Um, so let's back to the topic. Um, the full development of the self is attained. When the I and the me are united, uh, meaning when one of these is not active, then it is possible that the self was not um, was not fully developed. And um, according to Mead, 
he believes that the self is that the self is um that the self is not present at birth rather it develops only with social experience in which language um gestures and objects are used to used to um communicate meaningfully um he also he also tell to us that um when we are born in this world we are not yet developed um we are not yet developed ourselves but through the experience in our surrounding um or environment um as times goes by we gradually um develop ourselves because um we know what we know what we are and who we are based on our experiences in life uh, based on our experiences in life mm. <clears throat> um, let's proceed let's proceed since um, since there is a meaning in human actions a person um, in first people's development of development or direction of action which may lead him um, which may lead lead him or her to understand the world from others point of view and also um the process that mid labels as role taking and then he or she um he or she creates his or her role and anticipates how other how others will respond so when when he or she performs um a particular role a party uh, <clears throat> when he or she performs a particular role he or she become self aware become self aware the self continues to change along with his or her social experience in other words no matter how much the world shapes a person he or she will always remain a creative being in able to um in able to react to the world around him to her him or her mm. so well, um so so sociologist charles cooley so so sociologist charles cooley and george herbert mead both thought that um other people could play a significant role in how we view ourselves however um they deeper in how they thought this might happen whereas um Cooley thought that everyone that everyone that everyone a person interacts with during their entire lifespan could influence our could, could influence our self identity in some way or another and it and it means that um Mid thought the process was somewhat um was somewhat more restricted. He thought that um he thought that only certain people put um influence put influence on our perception of self and only during certain periods of life and he also thought that um, the way others influence us changes across the lifespan um, for instance mid believes that um, infants and other very young children um, for instance mid believes that infants and other very young children are not influenced by others in any in many way instead um he believed that young children see themselves as being the focus of their world and consequently they don't care about um what other people think of them so um at the same time they ca they cannot even take the perspective of another person um and for those of you who are familiar with psychology and developmental psychology they might um, realize that this is very similar to Piaget's concept of egocentrism. Egocentrism. <clears throat> but um, 
he may also believe um, that as we grow up, grow up, our beliefs about how other people perceive us start to become more important. And Mead thought that this happened through three distinct, three distinct stages and these are the prepar preparatory stage, the play, the play stage, and lastly the game stage. Um, the first stage is the preparatory stage. Um, this stage covers um, covers the child from zero to three years old. So, um, what do you call this? Um, so the children of this stage can can be able to um, interact with other people around them, um, especially their family members and their family members and this is what you called an um what you called an imitation they can be able to copy behavior without understanding um underlying inter underlying intentions um without understanding underlying intentions and so um at this stage they have um they have no sense of self also during this stage, um, children are just um, preparing, preparing for um, for role taking. Like for instance, the children, um, the children might play pot and pants, pot and pants because um, they saw a person, they saw a person using it for cooking and play a broom, broom or um or a toy, or a toy vacuum when their parents are trying to clean. So this kind of doings is excuse me um so this kind of doings is imitating the child the child try to uh, mimic based on what they have seen so there is no interaction between child and parents in terms of mimicking um, the first stage also believe that um, what they see is needed to be imitated so okay um let's jump um let's jump to the next stage which is the play stage um this stage cover the child um from three to five years old so during um during the during the play stage the children start to view themselves about others as um as they learn to communicate through language and other symbols also at this um at this stage um the role taking is exhi exhibited for um ex uh, the role taking is exhibited like for in for instance they play with their mommies um their daddies doctors or fighter or power fighters um etc like um whereas before they were incapable of taking on the perspective of others um now they are focused as they are focused on um, role taking or mentally assuming the perspective of the perspective of another um another person and acting based on their perceived point of view so however um children um do not perceive role taking as something expected of them mm. The self, um, the self emerge as children um, pretend to take the role of specific people or significant others, like those individuals who are important agents of socialization. Um, finally, um, I, <clears throat> who are important agents of socialization, like finally, at this stage, um, the self the self is developed so the last stage is the game stage so um this stage begins in the early school years and it is about um eight to nine years old so children of children of this stage um can be able to understand not only their um not only their social position but also those of other people around them and at this stage um children um children 
become concerned and accountable in their behavior like um is and um accountable accountable in their behavior is gen generalized to others which refer to the attitudes viewpoints um demands and expectation of the society which includes cultur cultural cultural norms and values that serve serve as references in evaluating oneself so this time um they can um they can have a more sophisticated look of people and an ability to respond to numerous to numerous members of the social um social envi social environment now now that i'm done so let's move to other topic um let's move to other topic of so so sociological perspective which is the self as a product of modern and postmodern society that um, that will discuss by my partner Johari Abbas So before we start to main topic first let us have idea about what is modern society postmodern society and what is their differences Modern society tell us that what 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 never a society becomes industrialized mm. it is referred to as a modern society or people li living together in the present in modern society people in this society are dealing intending to become a good individual people in this society are trying their selves to have a good way of living just because the views of, of the individual in this society is to have good identity and stable life. We can deny the fact the same people in this society may lead to have depression, depression in, in terms of depending the word of others. School based in this society is really significant and has a biggest contribution in terms of having a good identity and having a good behavior that may, that may lead the individual to have stable and, and perfect way of living. By this society, the individual doesn't depend on pretty, pretty prestigious symbol like phone, shirt, necklace, and fact people in this society are trying hard to have a good way of existence in this world. Also, it is based on the grow of education, technology, industry, and urbanization. urbanization. Mm. It has a complica complicated culture that evolves with time, its foundation, its talking shape. Life is determined to be heterogeneous due to a variety of society social, social situation. situation distinct types of social problems arise among various communities people is no longer manufacture products for living in modern civilization which is often referred to as mater materialistic they manufacture items to sell in the market instead. People do not rely on themselves in, instead of having gardens and animals. People go to the market for the gro groceries in their civilization place a um, premium on universal access to high 
quality education. Now let house let let <coughs> let now now let us how what is post modern society. Post modern society is just a society that emerges following the modern era. It incorporates several of the postmodern categories we've explored so, so far. Many of the components of, the, of such a society are reactions to what contemporary society it, represented in industrialism, past urban develop, develop, development, and the rejection of many old beliefs. As a result, historically, postmodern civilization prepared examin examining or, or rejecting these princip principles such as the social race, trails of the intro intro industrialism, urban expansionism, expansionism and pure area ideas i believe that postmodern may be conceived of as the outgrowth of, of the modern the differences of modern and postmodern society is that according to various theories, theories the 20th century can be divided into district theories periods one characterized by the modern modern modernism movement in the other by postmodernism some believe that, that postmodernism was a response to modernism and hence consider them as two aspects of, of the same movement there are some major differences between modernism and postmodernism the difference between moder modernism and postmodernism highlights the difference in the approaches towards life Moder modernism describes a collection of cultural movements of the late 19th and the early 20th century and consists of a series of reforming moves, movements in art archi, ar architecture. architecture literature music and applied arts Modern, modernism was characterized by the dramatic change of truth thoughts or by human intellect thought and improve the environment there was a trend of improvement in every aspect of the involving science and technology into it modernism brought about the reform in all shapes of life including philosophy commerce art and literature with the aid of technology and ex experimentation it led to process in all the aspects of, of, of life by changing the approach of maintaining of looking at them <coughs> Postmodernism means after the modern, it was reaction to modernism and was influenced influence by the disenchantment brought about by the Second World War. Postmodernism refers to the state that lacks a central hierarchy and the one that is complex, ambiguous and diverse the development in society, the economy and the culture of the 1960s were impact by postmodernism. Now, 
that we know what is modern society, postmodern society, and lastly, the differences of them. Then, let's move more. Let's move to the self as a product of modern and the postmodern society. <coughs> first thing, first, first thing first. Try visualize yourself from the from your childhood and now and now as your a teenager. And their differences in your personality. Are there any changes? Do, do modern and postmodern societies help you to grow and be a better individual? So now we are going to fig figure out why the self is a product of modern and postmodern societies with the theories of so sociology. sociology. First, Gary Lanuza's art article with the con constitution of self. But before we discuss his article, let us know first who is Gary Lanuza. Gen Ger Geraldo M. Lanuza, or what we call Gary Lanuza, is the director of the office of community relation. relation since july 1 2020 he, he succeeded dr karen and b jago on also director lanuja is a full-time professor of sociology as the college of social sciences and philosophy he received his uh, bachelor, bachelor and master degrees in sociology from UP Diliman, where, eh, where he also received his doctorate degree in education. <clears throat> now, let's move on. Gary Lanuda claimed that a person, personality or self can Freely selected by citizens of them modern societies, and affected by tradition or other circum circumstances, the importance or liberty is underlined. On the other on the other hand, as a result, it is not bound by custom and tradition. We are constantly interacting in a changing environment by we must never forget that our traditions and rituals played a role in shaping our shape self-identity. Self in postmodern society, on the other hand, self-identity always changing, changing due to the demands of the variety of social contexts. New information, technology, and globalization which I find advantage, advantageous because individuals are open to or we welcome all opportunities for self-improvement. In today's society, achieving and maintain, maintaining self-identity is a personal choice. The rest of human reality is shaped by the creature God. He was appointed to the Constitutional Convention but refused to sign the document. <coughs> Second is Jane Van Baudrillard, Baud Baudrillard who ex exposes the negative consequences of modernity to individuals in society. Before we got we go to 
before we go to the topic, who is the Jim Baudrillard? Baudrillard. Jim Baudrillard was born on July 27, 19, 1920, 1929, and died on March 6, 2007. Jean Boundrillard was a French sociologist, philosopher, and cultural theorist. He is best known for his analysis of media, contemporary culture, and technological communication, as well as formulation of concepts such as simulation and hyperreality. Hyper Jim Boundrillard has been referred to as the high, the high price of postmodernism. Boundrillard, Boundrillard's key ideas include to the to that are often used in discussing postmodernism in the arts, simulation, and the Hyperreal. The, the hyperreal is the is more real than real something and article comes to be more definitive of the real than reality itself. For, for example, it is include high fashion which is more beautiful than beauty and the news the simulation is a copy or imitation that substitutes for reality the TV speech of the political condit condit something states entirely to be seen on TV is a good example. However, what do you mean by postmodernity? It is a no notion that civilization has progressed beyond modernism, either modernism art and culture or modernism in the sense of the belief in development. Jane Boundrillard theory is that individuals is in, in the, the postmodern era gain self-identity by the consuming prestige. prestige symbols. However, it's useful for de detecting and Contesting accepted cultural norms that society has already manufactured is widely accepted. Normal patterns and eh, patterns of behavior of, of opinion might also indicate the other underlying. underlying bias or perhaps political in. In this writing, it can also be used to criticize consumer culture and thus capitalism. <coughs> this idea can, can also be used to investigate depictions of society in which you unusual, unusual impossible behavior behavior are viewed as normal. What of the best example in, in thus if a person buy, buys an expect, expensive cellular phone not merely as a useful communication device but because of this pristine symbols he all she will desire to buy a new cell phone when he or 
she learns that a new and more prestigious modern has come out in the market. Or when he or she discovered discovers that other people are using more expensive mobile phones. Therefore, therefore the self may, may be in a neighbor, ending search for respite in the postmodern society. In this example, it comes to, to my it, it comes to my man, mind that we the said logo of the famous product it reminds me of other people who just buy it to symbolize themselves as the prestige of riches and they and they are not have anything to, to do with the physical community itself which might and be cost poorly made etc about all postmodernism theory says that in the current world what something different is more significant than than what it is the sum this self the sum this lesson that self as a product of salities implies as the everything changed in this world will affect as can make sense to this lesson so um this lesson um emphasize on how the society affects us and how we become the product of this um as time goes by the beliefs the beliefs tradition and even the culture changes too so um, there is no permanent um, in this world but always remind yourself that even the world mess you up and make your life darker um, always try to find the brighter side of it um, in order for you to be not persuaded with the fake needs um, don't let fear interfere your true identity what matter most is um, you are not you are not pretending just to be loved by someone um to formally end this lesson um i believe that all of the objective that i said earlier and what johari said earlier um, will be answered um also i believe um that this topic help you to ident identify your true self again <clears throat> again i am um, armani sandigan and my partner abastuari um we will now giving you some thank you and thank you for watching mm. by the way um, if you have clarification queries um, question or anything that bother you that align to our discussion or topic that given to us by our instructor Janina Sinswat um, don't don't hesitate to us and share your insight to me and my partner Johari Abbas um, it is um, it is meaningful for us and our pleasure if you can give your ideas even your um, even your question because um, we ought um, we ought to understand and clear all your unanswered thoughts and I also believe that that the key to to have a clear mind is um, is to develop our understanding to each and everyone and again i am arman sandigan together with my partner johari abbas then we will say that um thank you very much for listening